And so it says in 11 verse, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. There are three ways you overcome the enemy and you prevail. I talked about this overcoming victory last Sunday. There are three ways by the blood of Jesus, something that he's already sacrificed for us because the blood of Jesus is so powerful. You may say, how powerful is the blood of Jesus? The blood of Jesus is so powerful that it speaks. God told Moses, the life is in the blood. He told him, put the blood on the doorpost, and when the death angel passed by, he will pass over you. But everybody who don't have that blood, he will kill everybody going through Egypt. And while it's the, it's the same thing, everybody who's marked by God's blood, by the blood of his son, the death destroying angel of Satan, when he passed by you, he have a right to destroy you because you ain't marked. The Bible says in Hebrews that Jesus' blood speaketh better things than that of Abel. Now, you may say, why would a deaf angel pass over me if the blood of Jesus is upon my life? Because the Bible says that the blood of Jesus speaks better things than that of Abel. And then you got to understand if the blood of Jesus is speaking, then what is it saying? You got to go back to Abel in the beginning when Abel was killed by his brother Cain because of jealousy. He killed his brother and slew him and his blood spit out on the ground. And God asked Cain, he said, Cain, what have you done? I hear the voice of your brother speaking to me from the ground. And so you got to understand when Jesus' blood speaks, it speaks better things than that of Abel. Better. In other words, Jesus' blood speaks protection against the, the enemy. It speaks protection against judgment. It speaks protection. Are you hearing this here? It speaks mercy. It speaks grace. The blood of Jesus protects you. And so when you start applying the blood of Jesus, and a lot of Christians don't understand it, you got to apply the blood every day. You apply the blood over your car, you won't have an accident. You apply the blood over, over your car, you know what the blood of Jesus starts doing? Starts speaking against accidents. It starts speaking over your car against any accident happening in that car. Are you hearing this here? I have not had a wreck in my car since I've had it. Because I apply the blood on my car. Are you hearing this here? I apply the blood on my will. The blood of Jesus. I apply the blood on my house. If the blood can be applied on the doorpost, it can surely be applied on other objects. Not only on you, it can be applied on your things, on your life, on your house, on your kids. And that's why I believe the devil have access to do a lot of things in our life. It's because Christians do not know the power that's in the blood. You need to learn the power that's in the blood of Jesus. There's power in the blood of Jesus to defeat Satan. And that's, that's one of the main ways that God has given us to defeat the enemy. The blood of Jesus. Say it with me. Say it with me. You got to understand his blood wasn't just shed on Calvary for your sins and that you would be forgiven. His blood was also given for an everyday basis to protect you. And if you apply the blood on things and on other uh, on situations, that blood, Jesus' blood will start speaking because it has life in it and it rebukes death. Are you hearing this here? That's how they overcame. The Bible says the angels, I mean, the, the, we overcame Satan by the blood of who? The lamb. Lift your hands and say, God, give me the blood. That's why I say to every Christian and I say to every person who ain't saved, if you ain't saved, you are in dangerous territory. If you don't have the blood of Jesus on your life, you're in dangerous territory. If you don't have God's blood flowing over your life and have really given your life to Jesus and accept the blood, you are in dangerous territory. You are susceptible to be attacked by the enemy and to be taken out. And they overcame him. You may say, how do I get victory? One way is through the blood. Say with me, through the blood. I overcome through the blood. Another way, the blood speaks mercy because sometimes you make mistakes and you do things wrong. Whereby the devil can come in and destroy you because he have a legal right because now you're on his territory. But then when you apply the blood and say, oh, the blood of Jesus, Lord, forgive me. Apply your blood over me right now fresh. It covers you from your sin. Because there are some battles you can never win because you're the one wrong. Oh, y'all not hearing me. But the innocent blood of the lamb was never wrong. And so when the blood is applied on you, it's like you're innocent. Because God don't see what you did. He see what Jesus did. Wow, y'all missed that. Because in many cases, you should really be in big trouble right now. In many cases, you should really be already destroyed by the enemy. 
But God, who is rich in mercy, and he sent his son to die for you on the cross and shed his blood, has gotten you out of your misery, gotten you out of trouble that you didn't even see. There are some things, my God, that you, you probably would have been dead. The devil would have just done to you if you didn't have God on your life because you were the one wrong. Look at your neighbor and say, you hadn't been right about everything. Come on, tell them again. And tell them, say, you know you haven't. So we come to church and look pious and act like we're really, we're really more holier than we really are, see? But we're not. Amen. We ain't all right about everything. Amen. Come on, y'all not saying nothing to me. You can come to church, we know how to put on our religious face, our religious clothes, and look nice and, and look better than what we really are. Amen. We know how to fix the flesh up, put makeup on it. Amen. Put cologne on it. Amen. Put suits on it. We know how to fix it up real nice, but it, in actuality, there dwelleth no good thing in the flesh. Number one, the victory comes through the blood of Jesus, what he's already done for us. It's not something you can work for. It's something that you accept, you receive, and you apply, and you believe by faith, and you're justified by it through your faith. Are y'all hearing this here? Therefore, you got to believe that Jesus has actually died for you and has actually shed his blood 2,000 years ago, and you believe in the power that's in that blood. I believe in the power that's in the blood of Jesus. I believe the blood of Jesus has power to shut down 20 million demons at one time. I believe the power in the blood is so awesome that the blood is so great that a devil hates. He, that blood destroys him. The devil flees from the blood of Jesus. Sometimes when you get too weak, you can't pray and the devil attack you, just say the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. I think we've lost that in our generation, the, the, the importance of knowing what the blood of Jesus is. The blood of Jesus. I've been through attacks where I couldn't pray. How many of you have ever been in a situation where you can't pray? You're too weak to pray? Just say the blood. Apply the blood, and then the blood will start praying for you. The blood will start interceding because it speaks. It speaks. It intercedes for you. The blood. Someone say the blood. blood. Say it again. Blood. Say it again. My, how I could do a whole message on the blood.